I'm Dr. Gary Garcia, Keystone Equine Associates. We're in Odessa, Florida, outside of Tampa. We're going to just say a little bit about uh, mosquito-borne equine diseases. Uh, here in Florida, probably the most devastating disease we have of mosquitoes is eastern uh, equine encephalitis. Uh, last year, we had over 130 cases of this disease. It's about 95% fatal, and it affects horses usually around uh, five years of age. It can be any horse, but we see an average about five years of age, and they're usually unvaccinated horses uh, or a horse that have been, um, uh, who, whose vaccines have, have long been overdue. Um, it's considered an arbovirus, and what you see with, with this disease is you see uh, uh, sometimes fever, depression, ataxia, uh, that ataxia or stumbling can lead to recumbency, laying down of the horse, and eventually death. Um, the thing to remember with this disease is we see it in humans. However, it's, it's not transmitted from horse to humans. There's a bird vector in between there. So humans are being bit by the same mosquitoes the horse are, and both the human and the horse are equally susceptible. Um, we do sometimes note that birds die from this virus. So if we see birds dying... Um, we start thinking that we're going to have a, a heavy infestation, a heavy a disease season of uh, equine encephalitis. So it's a reportable disease, and we, we, um, and it, we can vaccinate for this disease. very preventable, so we encourage vaccina vaccination in Florida and the southern regions every six months without, uh, without doubt. Uh, we begin vaccinating our foals at three months of age. Um, and it should be a series of vaccines in young horses, and in horse unvaccinated, it should be an initial booster, and then every six months. Uh, one other disease we see that's mosquito-borne, it's, uh, um, it's more recent, is West Nile. We've had a vaccine against West Nile disease since November of 2002. And West Nile can exhibit some of the same signs as uh, equine encephalitis. However, what you see more, so it's, it's a more insidious, more, more, constant, more uh, gradual onset of clinical signs and we see um, more of a, of a muscle tremor or muscle fasciculations with West Nile. Again, if you have not vaccinated your horse for either one of these, these are core vaccinations that should and must be done to your horse. What's important in keeping your horse currently vaccinated is when we go out on emergency and someone says, my horse is stumbling or falling down, if we have current vaccines in these horses for, say, example, encephalitis and West Nile, we can pretty much rule those out and start looking at some other things and not waste time uh, uh, trying to diagnose, um, you know, diseases that we should have been vaccinating for. So please get your horse vaccinated for these are core vaccines every horse should be vaccinated against. Again, this is Dr. Gary Garcia of Keystone Equine Associates in Odessa, Florida. We urge you to contact your local equine veterinarian for further information and questions, or you can log on to our website at keystoneequine.com. Thank you.